New reaction is coming in this morning after a major reversal from President Joe Biden. He announced last night that he has given a quote full and unconditional pardon to his son Hunter Biden. He was set to face sentencing on gun related and tax convictions. NBC's Bree Jackson tells us more about the president's decision. President Biden pardoning his son Hunter Biden, who was convicted earlier this year of felony gun and tax charges. Writing in a statement, no reasonable person who looks at the facts of Hunter's cases can reach any other conclusion than Hunter was singled out only because he is my son and that is wrong. The decision marks a reversal from the president's previous comments. I said I'd abide by the jury decision and I will do that and I will not pardon him. Mr. Biden ignoring questions from reporters about the matter. President-elect Trump among those blasting the outgoing president, posting, does the pardon given by Joe to Hunter include the J6 hostages who have now been in prison for years? Such an abuse and miscarriage of justice. Even some Democrats say the pardon is the wrong move. Arizona Congressman Greg Stanton writing, this wasn't a politically motivated prosecution. Hunter committed felonies and was convicted by a jury of his peers. The pardon covers any potential offenses that Hunter Biden may have committed over a more than 10 year period beginning in January of 2014. Typically, people have to apply and usually they've already served a sentence. They've been convicted. Uh, this is not the normal process. Hunter reacting in a statement saying, I will never take the clemency I've been given today for granted and will devote the life I have rebuilt to helping those who are still sick and suffering. The pardon comes after the Biden family spent the Thanksgiving holiday together in Nantucket and marks one of the president's final acts before leaving the White House and public life. Hunter Biden was scheduled to appear in two separate courtrooms this month for sentencing in two separate cases, but the pardon means that Hunter won't be sentenced for those crimes. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.